Good evening, everyone. This is Gary Bennett at Excel Me. Welcome. Tonight we're going to be talking about uh, classes, objects, methods, and properties, and understanding basic object-oriented programming principles and concepts. And so tonight, what we're going to do is we're going to go over some of these concepts and and terminology. And then next Wednesday at this time, we'll be going into um, a couple programming examples, both using the Alice uh, programming tool and then an Objective-C uh, application doing it as well. So this is uh, from my book, the first two chapters in uh, Objective-C for absolute beginners, as well as those of you that are attending my classes. Um, this will be from the class <clears throat> Introduction to Object-Oriented Programming and Logic. That uh, is eight courses that we go through. We go a little bit more in depth and uh, also cover a lot of um, object-oriented and Objective-C principles as well. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started with some of these terms and understanding them. Well, in object-oriented programming, everything revolves around a class. Well, what is a class? It's a group of objects with the same properties, same methods, and, um, and describe a similar um, category. So for example, in the, world, in the real world, we might have a, uh, a dog class which um, a dog, you know, could be, you know, has four, typically has four legs, a tail, ears, um, nose and a mouth, barks, wags its tail, that's a dog. And from that dog class, we can use that to describe other types of dogs. So like uh, um, a German short hair, a German shepherd, um, a retriever, uh, a terrier. All those would be derived and used from the main dog class to describe um, another type of uh, to the type to describe a type of dog that we're uh, that we want to work with. Well, we could have that terrier or that German uh, shepherd, and from that we could denote its color. It's it might have a, a brown property for its color. Might have another property for the length of its tail, or its weight, or its height, um, or color of eyes. All right, those would all be properties within that particular object that describes um, our dog that we want to work with. All right, so that's a class. A, a big uh, fancy word, instantiation, basically means copying and initializing our object from a class. That's instantiation. So if we have a dog class and we want to use it to make our own dog, when we take that dog class, copy it and initialize it to be used, that's the act of initialization, instantiation or initialization as well. All right, an object. An object is basically now taking our class, doing an instantiation on it, that will give us an object. And that object now is what we want to manipulate. So taking that dog class, initializing it and copying it, that gives us an object, and that's what we want to perform actions on. So an object is set there for us to work with. We may want it to wag its tail. We may want it to bark. We may want it to roll over. Okay, those are all actions that we want to perform on that, um, on that dog object now. Okay, a plane. We could have a plane class. Well, all planes have wings, engines, landing gear, flaps, and a rudder. That would be all described in our class. We would not have to write code that did that. We would get that for free when we did our instantiation to get our object. So we may take a plane class and now, like an airplane, not P-L-A-I-N, but plane as an airplane, um, and we may take that plane class and make a, uh, an F-16 out of it to give us an F-16 object or a biplane object, or a 747 object. So those are things now that we want to perform actions on. So we may want to turn our plane, land our plane, make our plane take off, go faster, go slower. Okay, We do that by setting the properties typically for that plane that gives us you know, its height, its dimensions, its color, um, and then the actions that we're going to perform on it are going to be called methods. So let's go ahead and, and look at some properties. So on our plane property, we may have 
altitude, weight, speed, height. Those are typically values. Properties are typical values that describe our object. Um, we may have in our view, and if it's an iPhone or iPad app, we're going to have a view. We may have a, a, a table object, and we may want to describe how many rows are in each table, um, what's in each cell, and um, what image appears in each cell, what font. Those are all going to be properties. Okay, So that's our properties. And then lastly, methods. Those are what are actually going to perform actions on our object. Make our dog bark. Make our uh, we may have a uh, um, a takeoff method that makes our plane take off. Uh, flaps up that now we pass it in a parameter here that is going to set its flaps up 10%. Or if it's a background color of a view, we may want to turn that background color to white. Those are all going to be methods that we call to perform actions on our objects. Okay, think of an object as a collection of properties and the methods are used to manipulate those properties. So, next Wednesday for our next class we're now going to take these basic terms, uh, classes, objects, methods, properties, and we're going to use Alice, which if you go to alice.org, um, we're going to use uh, the version 3.0 beta because it runs on both Lion and um, Snow Leopard on a Mac and, and also will run on Linux and a PC uh, for you that use, those of you that are using that. And we're going to see and demonstrate how to use these, uh, these principles without having to learn a lot of coding syntax. And then we'll do an Objective-C um, example doing the same thing. And we will do that um, uh, in the following class because we only have about 10 minutes to do this. Well, great. Um, welcome. And if you haven't joined us before, do make sure that you go to the free videos. And if you click on the free videos, it has all the previous past webinars that I've done for free. And um, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and watch them and also be notified every Wednesday when I upload the new ones. Uh, so you can watch the new ones as well. Or you can click here to view and attend the free um, Wednesday. Go to um, Go to webinar sessions and ask questions at the end of it. Well, thanks for joining us, and I will take questions after I stop the recording for those that are attending live, and questions can be on any topic that you'd like. Thanks, everybody, and have a great evening.